Hello everybody, we're back here in Immersive Engineering and with Immersive Intelligence. And we're going to start off where we left off, and that is the um, mixer combination with the uh, electrolyzer. Whatever. Um, words. <laughs> Alright, so let's go over here and quickly run down what we had going on. Uh, we have our brine mixer here. This one's focusing on brine. And a, a, a good note to, um, to take heat here. This takes salt. And you want to fill it up with as much salt as you can because it's going to start sending water over there. And it's, then that's going to fill up with oxygen. And then that's going to fill up with oxygen. And nothing's going to happen. Anymore. So just fill it up with salt. But how do you get all that salt? Well, Come over here to cooking with blockheads. Make yourself a sink, stove, uh, a cooking table, and a fridge. And what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself one pot, this guy, and you're going to go over here to your, your cooking table, and you're going to make a ton of fresh water. So double click on that, and then you're going to go in here, fill up your fridge with water, and then you're going to go over here, and then double click on this salt until you get enough salt to go and throw in your brine and that's how you're going to get salt because mining salt is just going to take forever and there's just not enough of it to supply your needs so go ahead and fill that up with salt using the uh, the kitchen which is great for the survival but this is what you need you need to sink the stove the pot that will go into the stove in its little slot the cooking table which helps you build uh, all the stuff that's in your fridge or your cabinets that you have in here and then fill this up with water or build a cabinet and fill that up with water and then boom you can make a ton of salt all right moving forward so what do we do with this etching solution well we are going to make a chemical bath so what is a chemical bath well this is a chemical Set. There we go. There's the front. <laughs> this is the chemical bath. And we're going to take etching fluid and we're going to fill it up with bath water here. <laughs> etching fluid water. And also, don't take a bath in it. I believe it will freeze you to death. All right. So, how do we make this? Well, in the engineering book, we have our typical menu. It's in heavy machinery. So, if you go over here and you're in the, the book, click on heavy machinery, go to chemical bath, and there you go. It'll usually have the animation going. Over here is the side. Note that the green check mark indicates it's already in your inventory. If you want to slow this down so you can see it more precisely, you can go ahead and go up and down on the menu and see the different layers. Move this around to get a better view of how the blocks are going, or just watch my video. All right, so here we go. Here's our uh, items. 11 light engineering blocks, 7 heavy, uh, 1 redstone engineering block, uh, 2 blocks of steel, and 2 sheet metal. These are, I'm sorry, 3 sheet iron sheet metal. All right. Anyways, okay. So starting from uh, left to right, we have our block of steel, 3 light engineering blocks, and a block of steel. Then I usually just throw my heavy engineering blocks, two of them, on the back of the steel, two here, two here, and then fill the middle with light engineering blocks. And there we go. We got our first layer. Now this is only a two-layer stack, so that's great. It's not a multi, uh, a three-layer one. So you just got one more layer to deal with, and so you will place your light engineering block right here. Take the remainder of your sh uh, your iron sheet metal. That's, there's three of them. Go across, and then end it with a light engineering block. And back of that light engineering block, you're going to put your controller block. And then over here on the back side of this light engineering block, you're going to put your heavy engineering block right here. And then boom, you are done. Now, to activate this, the uh, it's usually on your uh, side that it's going to have your uh, redstone engineering block. And you're going to go in the center. It's typically on the center block. 
it's a, a two stack, it's going to be this uh, topmost stack. If it's a three stack, then it's going to be the second stack. I go ahead and click it, and obviously I was completely wrong here. It is on the other side. <laughs> here we go. So disregard what I said about where it was, but it was on that second stack in the center. This is the front side. Usually your controller block is going to be on your front side, but in this case it isn't. All right, so how do we get the fluid in here? We got these these ports in here, and, and, and these look like fluid ports. We got an input and an output. Orange is output, input is blue. But these are not the fluid ports, because if you try to put a, a pipe next to them, they're not going to connect. So that's a dead giveaway that this is not a fluid port. So these are for chest. Uh, and so you would just simply put your raw circuit cards into here and it would just keep on going, filling it up over and over again. The pipe is back here. So you see, boom, it wraps right in there. Uh, there's really no indication. It would be nice if there was a blue dot here, but there isn't. So this is one of the rare pieces of equipment that doesn't have that little input that might indicate that it's a water slot. This is your controller. This is where you'd put your lever to turn the equipment on and off if you wanted to. And over here is your power. So this is where you'd hook up your connector. So let's go over here to the final uh, setup. We have our power going in there. Uh, I use uh, low voltage going in here. It seems to do the trick. It's not very power intensive. It's got a great animation. Once again, you have the ability to invert this. So if you wanted your lever to mean on and the equipment on, make sure it's in an inverted state. If you want it default, this is how it comes. It comes not inverted. That means that on is actually... Uh, shunting the equipment, shunting the power, so the power is not flowing. And off means basically on, so it's opposite. So if you want to go and make everything more intuitive, go ahead and click this to invert it, so now your lever means what it actually means. On will mean the equipment's on, off will mean the equipment's off. All right, it's just up to you, it's your preference. But the default comes uninverted, okay? So, once again, how do we get our etching fluid out of our silos? We go down to the bottom, and we make our piping, and we bring it back up into the equipment. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn on our lever. This will start uh, filling up the bath, and it will go right up to the top. Uh, and all you have to do now is start putting in uh, your raw circuit boards to have them etched. You have a few different types. Um, let's see, you have your basic. So basic. Let's see, what's the difference here? You get your advanced. So you got your basic, your advanced, and your processing card, which is the purple one. Uh, for the neat gadgets that are going to go on your, uh, your armor, your light uh, engineering armor, you're going to need the basic and you're going to need the advanced and that's about it. That's all you're going to use the bath for. So let's go ahead and show you the cool animation that's going to go on here uh, by using the, uh, the equipment. I usually just stuff them in there because I'm only throwing a few of them in there. That's not really a, a huge thing, but it grabs them out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. Then it just slowly... Rolls it through the equip, uh, the bath, and this basically puts the solder on the card. So now they're etched. Uh, and then you'll take that card, and you'll most likely have to go and run it through a blueprint on your your workbench over here. So what's going to happen is you're going to be running back and forth, um, making uh, you're going to. I would suggest make a bunch of um, basic cards and advanced etch cards out of this guy and then that way you have them on hand and you're going to go over here and you're going to be working between these two pieces of equipment to build your uh, your light engineering light armor. Uh, 
pieces. And um, so this one takes schemas or schematics. This one takes blueprints. And both of them work off of each other to build the next tier equipment. And you'll be uh, using this configuration with these inserters. You're going to be using the precision inserter, the precision solderer, and the precision drill. And this, this one right here, you see the assembly scheme, vacuum tubes. Well, as you, you'll note, as you start going up into uh, some of the different builds, you're going to see advanced circuit cards. And they're going to require like uh, an advanced um, uh, processor card or electronics card. And that's going to require a schematic and the precision equipment that we just seen. And so that's where you're going to be running back and forth. And the neat equipment you're going to be building is these, this headgear, uh, the shoes, uh, the augments for the shoes. There's just a, a whole multitude of stuff that you can add to your, your, your uh, equipment. So this right here, the engineering light helmet, let's go ahead and show you what's going on here. This one's got the engineering headgear on it, which is uh, a lamp and the infiltrator goggles. It's also got the gas mask. So if you pull that off, you can see the animation change. If you look at the table, that's really cool. Look at that, right on the table. So this is really steampunk. It's pretty awesome. And, you know, I had to go in and watch the, uh, I had skimmed through the SVP, which is uh, the playthrough that's on the Mod Pack website itself at Curse Forge, um, and I had to watch it. He had quickly did this, and I had missed it the first time, and I was wondering, how do you modify your armor? Is there an armor workbench? But no, it's the engineering workbench. It, it, that's where you put your, your plates on. That's how you modify your, your, all your gear uh, for your armor and stuff. And so uh, it looks pretty rad. Um, Right now, in my world, I have pretty much modded everything out. I think the only thing I'm missing is the flippers <laughs> because it requires rubber, and uh, I haven't made rubber yet, so I'm still, I haven't found a, uh, a rubber sapling tree yet. Uh, there's been a few tornadoes, and uh, looks like these guys are the first to go. Uh, <laughs> so anyways... Uh, so they're pretty decked out. Uh, right now I only got steel armor plates. I haven't gotten to composite because once again these guys require uh, three. Um, uh, a, a piece of rubber. So you can stack three on each of the armor. So let's I'll go ahead and show you how that works. So you see right here our armor value is four. We can put these plates on there up to three of them Let's go drop all three of them on there, and you'll see, boom, from four to three, we added, we now got seven. And so in the video, you'll notice that um, he has uh, two armor bars on there. And I was wondering, how did he get there? What magical armor was he wearing? And it's just simply upgraded light engineering armor. So this stuff is, is just pretty badass. So you can see right here, let me go and put it on my face. There you go. This is um, just pretty cool. Uh, and I, I'm assuming this will let me walk into sulfur clouds or cold dust and stuff. And uh, It looks like the, uh, uh, the night vision is working. I'm not sure about the infrared yet. Uh, but the other thing too is power. And how do you get your power? Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly show you that before the mobs, the mobs come out and try to murder me. Uh, game mode. Come on, I can, I can do this in my reclined position here. It's gonna be one of those days. I notice if you toggle these on and off, it, it helps with the heat. But building, so I'm in trouble. So you'll have this guy right here, and this you can put them on your bobbles. 
So this is perfect. But if you upgrade this to the, uh, the immersive intelligent one, which holds a million flux, it can only be placed on your, your main armor piece and, and you're losing up to 11 points of armor. So I would suggest have this guy build the, the larger backpack is uh where is it at can i have an image of it is it going to live long enough to show you that image these are all questions that i have uh it's in here somewhere uh, maybe it's in just an immersion let's see if the backpack is in there back backpack there you go this guy so this guy, unfortunately, only fits there. It will not fit on your bo bottles, uh, bobbles. So you see, uh, and so even in the uh, tech, it won't fit there, but here. So Space Age, same deal. It will only fit here. So you're really missing out on your armor, uh, and, and that's a little bit problematic. I don't know. Oh, let's try something really quick. Oop. Okay, come on, get back in there. Uh, put that there, and then like here's a chest piece. Let's see if no nope, chest piece won't fit anywhere else. So yeah, you lose the chest piece, but you get a million flux. So if you're working in your office, that's great. But if you're out uh, and about killing mobs and stuff, you're gonna you're gonna be hurt. Um, there's another thing that you might want to uh, look at too in getting. And let's go ahead and jump back into creative mode so you don't hear me freezing to death. There's three villagers that you want to get. This guy will get you the arc blueprint. This is crucial for your arc furnace because you won't be able to uh, make the advanced electro plates without the arc furnace so that's a necessity to have in your build before you start adding a lot of these magical gadgets to your light engineering outfit so get him he's going to give you uh, some alloys and some components that are pretty handy to buy they're a little pricey but um, you get a drill bit that's great um, I still use a, a hammer to, to do all my mining. The other guy you want to get is the structural engineer. He looks just like him. You'll find him around the red brick buildings, and he will give you steel scaffolding. You can then take those, buy those steel scaffolding, throw them in your arc furnace, boom, you've just replenished all your steel needs for other builds. It'll make nuggets, but it's one for one. So the next guy you want to get is the blacksmith uh, alloy guy get him he's, he's in a black vest he looks like the armor the smith uh, the tool guy there's going to be one for the uh, alloy he's going to be able to sell you for one emerald four cold cokes that's going to supply your cold coke needs and then just grab get some like a li uh, liber uh, a library guy or a shepherd or maybe uh, I don't know if a Fletcher's in the game yet, but you want to get uh, another villager to to get your emeralds up. Uh, that way you can you can buy your cold coke, you can buy your your steel needs, and and you'll be golden because you don't want to be making cold coke to make steel, uh, just to turn around and run out of uh, rods for your your arc furnace. So buy them. Alright, so there you go. I hope this has been uh, helpful. Uh, if there's something that um, you want to see that's a little bit more in detail, uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, and like I said, these are the only ones that you need for right now to build any of the gizmos on your, your light armor. Uh, the other guys, uh, there's a, a, a saw, uh, a welder, and something else. And those are for the, <clears throat> for I think the space age, I think, if, if I'm right. They make the, the silicon wafers and uh, 
ignits, um, and something else. So I haven't gotten that far in the game yet, but there you go. So we started off with this guy, and we were like, okay, well, we built it. Well, what do we use it for? Well, you need this guy. You need the bath. But how do you get the bath? Well, you need etching fluid. How do you get etching fluid? You need chlorine. How do you get chlorine? Well, you need brine. And so, and you got to push it into this guy. And that will separate the two uh, materials. And But then you go, oh no, I can only, I only have so much salt. Well, use the kitchen to get your salt. So once you, uh, you get up to this stage, and this is, this is a stage you're also going to have an arc furnace. I, I didn't go into the build with that because there's a lot of great videos that already have the arc furnace that are built. Uh, I can't think of the guy's name. Um, shoot. Look at all his videos, and it would be a shame if I did not do a shout out for him. Let's see. Uh, let's go. Give me one second here. Um, immersive engineering tutorial. Here we go. Um, mischief. Mischief of mice. He has made a whole bunch of uh, how to uh, immersive engineering tutorials. <clears throat> and of course, the maker of the mod pack for the SB. SVV, which is uh, Skeeves, I think. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, I don't see his name in here. Why is this so difficult? Skeeves. Uh, uh, Sheaves. Uh, S V E E V, and he did. Uh, so far, I've watched the. Uh, I survived a hundred days in Industrial Revolution in Minecraft. Well, he's made a mod pack called Epoch Runner, formerly Nuclear Age and Beyond, and it's basically an augment, and it gives you that um, that uh, technology level. Of going into different texts. So you start off with flint and steel, I mean flint and, and sticks and stuff, which is very quick but very scary because zombies have guns, that's no fun, and there's tornadoes. So that makes everything freaking crazy in the beginning. Once you get settled down, you start getting into the industrial immersive, uh, the industrial revolution age, uh, which is supported with the immersive engineering um, you're going to be spending a whole lot of time in that because to get to the nuclear age you got to get a whole bunch of blocks of uranium and that is going to take a long time so uh, let's go ahead and uh, end the video sorry about that uh, no screen there because you guys weren't seeing any of that but uh, that's what I uh, that's that's what I'm using. I'm using the SVP mod pack, and uh, it's it's just been supplying me with hours and hours of enjoyment. This is where I'm about at. This is, uh, of course, my stuff is in, in a field, completely unprotected. It is uh, in one of the uh, snake uh, temples that I had found. I gutted it out and put my factory inside there. So. Uh, that's where I'm at, and uh, so we're building this as I'm living it. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoy. Any questions, put them in the comment. Catch you later.